so in this episode we are going to walk you through how to install a roof vent, how to cut the square measure, put on some batons and install the roof vent. So stay tuned. So we're just measuring our roof so we can install our vent fan up top. Uh, we have to decide whether it's gonna go right in the middle of the van or just to the side over, over the top of our main walking space because the way our van's designed it isn't even on each side. So we're just gonna try and calculate that at the moment. Um, our vent fan is 390 mm by 390. Most fans you're gonna buy are gonna be 400, but just make sure you double check because it's obviously gonna affect the size of hole you cut and you really don't wanna cut too big of a hole because then you're gonna be bugging. So uh, yeah, that is 390 by 390. So we're just deciding exactly what position it's gonna go in on the van. And then we'll measure it up and uh, get, get cutting. So that's where we're at. So we bought the Fiamma Turbo Vent for our roof vent, there are loads out there. Uh, the Max Air is one of the most pricier ones, but they're really good too. And Fiamma is um, also another really good one made in Italy. Um, we've already measured up the square, which is 390 by 390. Now we're gonna see if this lines up. So we got the crystal because we kind of at night uh, wanted a bit of moonlight shining through. Um, we both don't like sleeping in pitch black. So yeah, they also do it in white. You did go on one clear across. The good thing about this is it comes with mosquito netting, which is perfect. I'm just gonna measure this top part, this inner square is 390. I'm just gonna line it up with the measurement we made to make sure that we got it right. Now that we know that lines up, which is good, we are going to basically be putting wooden blocks around this area where this is about three centimeters on the Fiamma, and we have one that is pretty much three centimeters wide so it fits here make sure it always fits otherwise your screws are not going to be aligned and this brings down um our, our roof went down to about 4.4 centimeters the fiamma can take maximum 4.5 centimeter gap between the top of it and the bottom of it and we're doing this so that it brings down the roof vent so it's aligned with our ceiling once we put all the insulation and our wooden roof panels uh, so we, here we've got a 3.4 by 4.4 uh, centimeter block of uh, wood that we're going to be basically using as our square wooden frame that we'll put between the top of the roof vent and the bottom. This is the square that we made yesterday uh, we had to stop because it's from starting to rain but it is pretty simple you just cut your four blocks and then um, you screw them in into four sides make sure you uh, put a screw starter first before you screw it in because it might uh, chip or break the wood just to make note it's 390 by 390 all around but when you're cutting your blocks Make sure that two of the sides are shorter than the um, other two, only because it needs to account for the width of one of the blocks within that 390. So as you can see, these two sides are shorter than these two sides. So if we fit it here, it should sit flush up against the roof vent, just like that. See, it's all tightly snug and fit around and it and the width of the wood covers exactly where the roof vent ends so that when we do screw it in from over here you can see the screw points 
it goes directly into the wood. At the moment, Rome is drilling the four corners of our hole so we can re-measure it on top of the fan. He looks like an Eskimo because he's partly sick and it's partly freezing cold in here. This is why we don't build our van in the winter. that these are not our jigsaw starter holes they are really tiny it is because um, basically we're using a number four drill bit just so we can mark the four corners up on the top side of the van so we know where to measure our square on top hole in the roof has been cut, filed, and it fits our vent fan absolutely perfectly. Shenny at the moment is just cutting some small wooden strips out, and I'll show you what for. So this is how big they are, they're very small, but the idea is that, i can show you, they go just here on the thing, so that when you're installing the fan, everything is level, and at a level playing field instead of having the rivets and divots. So that's what you need to do. Just measure them out, stick them in, and it should be good as gold. Well, the slight concern is it's just started to rain and we have a hole in our roof. So we really need to get cracking. Yes, yeah, sorry. So we really need to get cracking and get this installed before we uh, get flooded in here. But that's what you gotta do. Very important step just to make sure everything's level and easy. So don't forget that. Okay, what I'm doing now is just gonna put this all around the roof vent, pass it up to Rome, and we're gonna get this fixed. heaving it down which is why we've got our windbreakers on but we can't just leave it because we have a hole in our roof so I drilled the top what we've done is we've used longer nails about a, a 50 millimeter on the corners and then we've used the recommended 30 millimeters in the middle just because it we felt like our wood wasn't stable enough or holding it up enough so right now we're just gonna go outside and per some sycophlex around the outer corners of the roof vent and then we're going to put a sheet over it so hopefully it stays dry. Right, we've covered the, the roof vent while the sycophlex dries. Oh, absolute horrid job in the rain. Got caught out a little bit. We've done our best to uh, abide by the forecast we got very lucky so far in the open three weeks we had really good weather but just taking a turn and now it's struggling we got caught out with the rain big time yesterday it's sorting everything out up here we had a massive massive rush to get it done but lo and behold we did this our vent fan is now screwed into our wood block that we showed you earlier inside the van we've sick of flexed around it not to be recommended to do in the rain. Just a bad idea, really, really messy, it's a bit of a disaster, but equally you can't leave a hole in your van. That's traffic. So we have sick of around this, so that is now sealed. We are yet to put the bottom of our vent fan in place just because we need to do all our wiring first. 
first to get that wired up so that this is connected to the van system and all that. But this is on, that is how you do it and install your event fan. Top tip, you do it on a blue sky clear day like it is right now, not when there are a few clouds about and it could be forecast to rain. Really misjudged the forecast big time, but hey ho, you can't go, go back and change things. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.